So the last question, um, interesting question from Daniel. How do we curb um, a high rate of um, caesarean section deliveries and the death rates in Nigeria? Mm. One thing I will tell you right away, one of my um, specialist areas is reproductive health. Because I'm into any that, you know, fertility, fertility treatment, um, contraception, family planning. I mean, mm -hmm. that's my interest area. Okay. So I'm very, very much at home with this. Mm -hmm. And one thing I will tell you right away is that there's nothing wrong in having CS. In fact, medically, CS is said to be safer than natural delivery. If it is done by a competent physician mm -hmm. and in a you know, in a, in, a, in a proper hospital. CS, because you don't have to, you know, I, I don't know where she, <laughs> she's a mother. I don't know if any of you has given birth. You know, it's not a, it's not easy. It's not a, a, a picnic to go into labor. So women go into labor for days mm. before they deliver. It's not a pretty thing. But CS, before you know what's happening, the baby is out. And doctors even tell you that, yes, some women even do what they call elective CS. You know, they opt for it. They say, look, yes. this is what I want. Yes. And they give it to them. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to tell you, the notion that some doctors uh, make women undergo CS when they don't need it and all that. And all that. Oh, sorry, because of money. Personally, let's, let's, let's I, don't, I don't really follow that idea. Because, look, in medicine, there are ethics. Except that doctor is a quack. If that doctor is a professional, no. No professional, will, no professional will give you any procedure that you don't need. And except there is no alternative, then you need to do that. I mean, we've had so many cases. We've had all these things. So even the uh, uh, Dental and, uh, Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, you know, some doctors have been charged before them and all that and all that. CS is not, is not, is not a bad thing on its own. It's not as if it's bad. It's not bad. Because it has been proven time and time over. It's not like, a death sentence. Like, yes, like I told you, some women even opt for elective mm -hmm. CS. Mm -hmm. That they want it. Mm -hmm. And they do it for them. They don't have time to push. Yeah. Uh -huh. But some have to do it for, I mean, there are some medical conditions that a woman just has to undergo CS. Even some, like she said, Emergency, some they even call yes, it the emergency, emergency series. Yeah. Like if you have a breach presentation. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that is funny about, about uh, babies, <laughs> so many of you, do you know a baby will lie in that breach presentation? A baby can be in that breach presentation and just a few minutes before birth, mm -hmm. it, will it will turn. turn. Mm -hmm. on its own. It will it's turn possible. on its own. Or sometimes they turn it manually. But, you know, doctors are professionals. They know what they are doing. If they tell you you need a CS, the perception of the mother and the baby, then like uh, uh, somebody said earlier, that is why it is important a woman should go to a good hospital. She should register for her antenatal mm -hmm. religiously. You know, go for all the um, talks, go for all the tests. Don't don't wait until you are seven months or eight months pregnant before you before register. And don't go to... And even uh, the daily drugs they give you, check them. Uh, and giving to your other daily don't go things. to Eliwe Omo. Mm. Don't go to all these um, <laughs> uh, women. Yes, yeah. go to a competent... Because mm -hmm. if there is a problem, women, when they check, they those women can't do check. anything. Mm. No. And pregnancy, pregnancy is delicate. It's a delicate thing. It, look, a thousand things can go wrong with, it, with any pregnancy. Yes, yeah, so. That is unpredictable. So you need to be in a proper setting where doctors can take care of you. So I would just say, yes, I agree with you that CS, rate of CS is increasing, especially in the uh, Western world. And like I said earlier, because so many women that, you know, it's elective. They, up, they say, oh, they don't want to stay. I don't want the pain. I don't want to push. Some women have so many conditions that look, even doctors will advise them and say, look, you shouldn't go into mm. labor. You go for CS. So CS is not as bad as it's been painted. Sure, when their ages are up, like let uh -huh. me from about 40, and, 45 uh, years. If you're having multiple baths, yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
you could be a, your doctor will advise you not to go into labor. As you are, as you know, as you are advanced, aging, yeah. but you are called the uh, there's a name they give uh, <laughs> such women. Once you are forty <laughs> above, forty five and above, yeah, and you are so, pregnant. Mm. <laughs> so CS is not all that bad. If you need it, mm. take it. If you don't need it, you know, if your doctor advises you and says, look, you up for it. Because it, it, it your doctor will not impose it on you. He will just offer it to you as an option. But if you need to have it, there's no other option, then you need to take your doctor's advice. Or you can take a second opinion. Go and seek another doctor's opinion. You know? Mm -hmm. So, CS is not as bad okay. as it's being painted. And, um, you know, we should just... Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> So okay. what I will what I will add to that is that some of our yeah. women or most of our women are so scared about mm -hmm. see as if it is it, death sentence. No, it's actually to help. I've said it now that I didn't hide it. I have it twice yes. of my children. I started with it and ended with it, and I'm still alive. Although exactly. everybody are not the same, mm -hmm. but you know, so people should not be scared about it. Doctor will tell you it's a minor operation, and that's what the doctor calls everywhere. See, here's the man of pressure. <laughs> 15, 30 minutes, you're out of the But really, it's not, it's not minor. But that's what they always say. Like uh, the man of pressure. They don't want to scare yeah, you. Except that. Uh, Before you know, if you think 25 <laughs> minutes, uh, 45 minutes, you're out of the theater. Well, yeah. You know? It's, and it's, so, so, don't be scared. It's if, a straightforward... If, if, uh, if it comes to that as a woman, if it comes to that, that doctor said that only mm. two years, so don't, yeah, that's yeah, so, yeah. No, 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 it's, it's not a big deal on a more serious note. And if any doctor is doing that, like he said, mm. just for you to get money, uh -huh. I, 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 I would recommend it to God. Take, if, yes, if that's take your a, reason. Get a second opinion. So, so please, let, let's check let's from do another doctor well. to be sure that, look, mm -hmm. this doctor, don't say one doctor has told you, just mm -hmm. go and present yourself and then compare notes okay. to know whether this doctor is trying to cheat you or. And not. help yourself too. Mm -hmm. If you take your, your daily uh, routine, we we'll call it daily routine as exactly. a pregnant woman, you attend your, all your abstinentals. Mm -hmm. You know, you, in fact, you. You, you will not be scared about anything. You will deliver normally by the special grace of God. But when yes. you don't go, uh, seven months, eight months before you now go, you, do you know what happened within the, the, the day of conception to that eight months? Because you cannot see it. Something you cannot see. So please, women, to help ourselves, to let's help ourselves to reduce this mortality. CS rate. doesn't contribute no. to no. maternal mortality. Not at all. No. It is, you know, there are other things. Bleeding yes, and, all and things, uh, yeah. delay and all those things. Those are the mm. things that contribute. CS is not. Well, I although you. I agree that the rate of CS is increasing, mm. Mm. you know, globally. So what's what's your your final words now? Yes, my final word <laughs> is just to <laughs> say, health. Like I, you know, like I started, your health. It's your image. It's what it's what projects you. If you are not healthy, there is nothing else. I mean, nothing else matters. Mm -hmm. That's true. And if you are healthy, nothing else matters. Mm -hmm. Because, look, I can tell you, there are so many people who are, maybe they're in bed today. How many of us have had, I'm sure, probably, probably practically everybody here had breakfast. There are some people that they will even have to be imploring, begging, please, you know. Eat a little. Try and eat a little. Try mm -hmm. and eat a little of this so delicious meal. Yeah. Meanwhile, so many of us here, we can finish two or three plates at a sitting. Because you are, because you are healthy. Yes. It's only a healthy person that can you lose know, appetite. That, that you have stop. appetite, that you're hungry. Mm. The fact that you're hungry shows that you are in good health. Mm. So you should not show that. Don't joke with it. Don't say, ah, you know, Nigeria is bad. I'm only taking Gary mm. and uh, fish or whatever. It will not, I mean, it, that is just for now. Mm -hmm. So the, your health, make sure you preserve your health. If you are, there are some checks that you need to do periodically. You know, your blood pressure, you need to check it. Your, um, level, whatever they call it. Uh -huh, your cholesterol, blood cholesterol, your uh, weight, you know, your BMI, body mass index, to be sure, are you overweight or underweight? You know, those ones are just routine things that you can do. You can just go to any hospital, they'll do it for you. Finally, you see that so many of you, when you want to, maybe when you get a new job, or when you want to, um, uh, get admission into a high institution, you'll be told to go for All these checks. a medical check. Yes. Don't go and buy, uh, uh, you know, the medical money, yeah, reports. Yeah. 
Just do your checks. Don't do go to one hospital and head. just give doctor money and say, please just write this medical mm. report for me. Make sure you do those tests. Because the test may pick up something that you are not even aware oh. is wrong with you. So that's just my advice. You know, remain healthy and stay healthy. <laughs> So joining to say remain healthy mm. and stay healthy. It's, it's so important that we yes. do not um, uh, take our health issues with levity. We, need, we really need to mm. uh, take it very seriously and then Definitely. nip it at the board. The moment you have any little sign, don't 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 commonize it. Don't overlook it because that sign could lead to a more dangerous thing in future. And then treatment becomes an, an, an issue. No money Thank that you time. Much. You start looking for help. And nobody may even say, because nobody's owe you anything. Nobody's owing you anything as a matter of fact. So mm -hmm. if you start looking for help, nobody help. You don't have to blame anyone. Exactly. Nobody actually is actually responsible for that. Exactly. So better do the right thing at the right time. That will save more, more problem in, uh, in the future. Having said, thank you once again for being here with us. We really enjoy your contributions. And of course, our audience who are, who are for your patience and the, our viewers out there, the production crew and the the executive producer, to thank all of you for your contributions. And of course, those who have uh, contributed uh, in helping us to stay in the air, our, our sponsors, uh, we thank you for being there for us. And I want to invite a comedian, MC Trinity, to sign out this program. I request you humbly join us next week, same session, same time. I am a Healy's. Bye for now. We with you. See and do. <laughs>